we now also have the option to generate tunnels under the body tab. For this purpose, I click on pages as tunnels. I choose a tunnel cross section of 40 by 40 and simply confirm with OK. We can see now that the tunnel walls are being constructed accordingly. The addition for the width is necessary to calculate the corresponding wooden strips. This is because if there is a certain connection from the back, wooden strips can be added on the left and right accordingly. Similarly, you can define a distance from the sides. We can see here quite clearly that there is a distance from the sides to the bottoms, and here, towards the tunnel, simply add the allowance. If I now deselect left side, then, of course, the component will only be built on the opposite side. I could simply change the base height now. At the same time, in the cabinet configuration, I would simply adjust the definition accordingly. But we'll look at that separately later on, so that you simply get an elevated lower shelf, and... I'll enter a height of 100 millimeters here so that you get this construction.